find the solutions of trigonometric functions using the TI-89 graphing calculator. For this video and videos similar to these, visit the website www.titutor.com. Solve and round to the nearest hundreds the function tangent square x plus tangent x minus 2 is equal to 0 in the interval from 0 to 2 pi. Here's the calculator solution. First, let's change the mode of our calculator to radians. So I'll press the mode key. I'll scroll down to our fourth line, which is radian. And if I move to the right, notice I can toggle up and down between radian and degree. We want radian, so I'll lock that in with enter. And I'll return back to our home screen. Next, we'll enter the equation into our calculator. So we'll use the y equals, which is a blue function. So I'll put in our function, the tangent, which is a yellow function of x and now we'll square it plus the tangent of x again we'll close off the argument for tangent minus 2 next we'll graph and graph is also a blue function Since we're dealing with a trig function, we must change our x and y axis accordingly. So I'll use the zoom, which is F2. I want zoom trig. I'm going to press enter. We want the zeros or the solutions in the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So I'll use the window, which is a blue function, and I'll change the x minimum to 0. I'll lock that in and I'll press enter. I'll change the x maximum to 2 pi. I'll also lock that in with enter. I'll leave everything else the same. And now we'll regraph. We're asked to find the solutions or the x-intercepts or the zeros of the function. And by taking a look at the graph, we see that there are four x-intercepts or four zeros or four solutions in the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So we'll use the zero function on the TI-89 to calculate them. We'll simply press F5. We'll use the second choice which is the zero function. I'll press enter. We'll find the first zero and we'll ask for a lower bound or a left bound. So I'll simply move my cursor to the left of my zero. I'll set that in with enter. We're now asked for an upper or a right bound, so I'll move my cursor to the right of the zero. I'll set that in, we'll press enter. And we have our first x-intercept of 0 0.79. To find our second intercept, we'll simply repeat the process. So I'll use F5. We're going to calculate the zero. I'm going to set a lower bound for our second zero or a left bound for our second zero. So I'll lock that in with enter. We'll set an upper or a right bound. So I'll move the cursor to the right of our zero. I'll press enter. And we have the second intercept, the second intercept as 2.03. 
We'll next calculate the third zero. So we'll press F5. We'll use the zero function. We'll set a lower bound. I'll press enter. We'll set an upper bound. I'll press enter once again. And our third intercept is 3.93. We'll repeat the process for our last zero. We'll press F5. We want to use the zero function. We'll set a lower or a left bound. I'm going to set that in with enter. We'll set an upper or a right bound. I'll press enter once again. And we have a value of 5.18. Thanks for watching.